Hi, my lovely people. Section 107 Fair Use allows us to talk about it, and that's what we are here to do. Please don't go out of your way to dislike anybody we talk about in these videos. It is for entertainment and reaction purposes only. Baby, it is my opinion and my opinion only. Now, baby, this is a topic that I was like, is this taboo to talk about or what should we do? But I'm going to let y'all know, Keeping Up With The Kennedys is someone who used to, you know, be in the Mamiana gang with Jasmine, Olivia, and Tierra TV. And it was a big flop and it was a big failure. But she's continued to do her own thing on her channel and continue to try and grow over there. And I ain't here to take nothing like that away from somebody. What I'm here to say is it has now hit outrageous, okay? I don't know if y'all keep up with her. That's why I want to do a small video and I want to introduce her to this channel, okay? But I have been keeping up with the Kennedys for the past month or so so I have been seeing what she has been going through I was feeling for her and then it hit an all-time what you know it's like WTF what's going on okay so let me tell y'all she had was doing like a city I don't know if it was a series I don't know how I want to say it but I'm going to use the word series okay she was doing a series of shorts and videos of her she has a brother who who um, was on drugs and had some mental health issues and she was trying to track him down, make sure he was safe. She was trying to, you know, locate him and get him home and make sure that she could try and get him some help and things of that nature. And I will say this, we all have been through it. Maybe we know someone, maybe it's a friend, maybe it's a family member, maybe it's something, but I've been there and I've done that. Okay. Um, and I was like, wow, this is, you know, really, really uh, pulling at my heartstrings. She's also showed that her mother and her um, family struggles with mental health and drug addiction. And I'm like, wow, what a way to go. But long story short, she locates the brother. She brings the brother home, okay? When she brings the brother home, he's hanging out with the mother who also has, um, you know, some drug problems, some mental health issues. Something happening, a stabbing takes place, and the brother is arrested for it. It was the stepfather, and, you know, they have arrested the brother. The mother was there, supposedly. His mother was there when it all happened. Once again, this is all alleged. I mean, I've watched the news clips. I've watched everything. And I do agree that they are painting him to be like, you know, some monster. And that's not right. So I understand that her sister is out here trying to advocate that, hey, he's not a monster. He does have mental health issues. He does have drug abuse issues. But then it also comes to a point where, you know, everyone in that home had it and were struggling with it. And someone lost their life amongst this addiction and amongst this drama. Okay. Okay, so I can't get really into it because I have to say it's all allegations. If you guys want to and y'all keep up with it, then y'all can go watch the news footage. It is out there and it is public and it is, you know, in the newspapers and everything else. But since then, she has been on her advocating, screaming, yelling, saying that her brother is in a manic state. He doesn't understand the charges. He doesn't understand what's going on. And she says that she needs to hire him a legal team, right? She says that she needs to go and raise $45,000 thousand dollars in a GoFundMe to have legal support for her brother. Now, hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. Uh-uh. $45,000 is what you were asking. And then you get on here and you make a community post. Um, they have reported my GoFundMe. So now you can donate this way. At the end of the day, girl, now you pushing it, right? You can advocate and you can speak. But we all know, okay, the power of the judicial system. You get uh, arrested. Then you get formally charged. Then you get indicted. And then you begin to be able to have some kind of defense, right? Then you begin to be able to build your case. And then, uh-huh. The court of law has to decide whether you're innocent or you're guilty. Now, she's not even giving it time for, okay, number one, he just she says he just got indicted. She didn't even give it time for the indictment to happen. She didn't even give time for a public defender or someone to step in, which he will get a public defender. She didn't even give them time to uh, do a psych evaluation. She didn't even give them time to investigate the crime before she got out here and started trying to raise $45,000 for something she knew nothing about, okay? First off, no, whew, first off, getting a lawyer to take the case is the easy part, right? It'll be a few thousand dollars, but you can also work, okay, with, the public defender, and you can also work with uh, the prosecutor. They can obviously see that there is some addiction and some mental health issues. Give them time to evaluate him. Give them time to put him on the psych ward. You said yourself, Kennedy's, okay, uh, I'm gonna call her the Kennedy's. She said herself that 
he was still in a manic state. He was still high and he still didn't understand what was going on. Give him time to sober up, okay? You have said yourself that for years he has battled with drug addiction. The thing of the matter is how unfortunately selfish uh, was it of you to not only come out here with all of this, but to ask for $45,000. I mean, I, I, I'm y'all... I think it's ridiculous. I think it's redundant and I think it's absurd. I don't know if you guys, I'm not going to keep going on about it until I know if you guys are keeping up with it and if it's something we even want to talk about. But I just wanted to drop a little video. I'll see you guys down in the comments and y'all tell me what y'all think of this mess.